Hello student, I am Tanmay Mujumdar. In this video, I will show the derivations of the regression equation of y on x and x on y. First, I derive the regression equation of y on x. Suppose we have a n pairs of observation x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3, dot 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 x and y n. And it is required to fit a straight line to this data. We know the general equation of the straight line is y equal to a plus bx, where a and b are constant. Now the regression equation of y on x we have to fit on the straight line in the form of y equal to a plus bx obtained by the method of least squares. Now look at the equation of y equal to a plus bx. Here x is considered to be the independent variable and y is a dependent variable. That is the value of y is obtained when the value of x is given and vice versa. Applying the method of least squares, the constant a and b are obtained by solving the normal equations. Now let us fit a straight line of the form of yi equal to a plus bxi plus ei. Here ei is the error term. Our main objective is to minimize that error term. So we can write from the next line ei equal to yi minus a plus bxi. Now in the next step I did square in both the side and I have got ei square equal to yi minus a plus bxi whole square. Let us apply the least square method. In the least square method you will have to minimize the sum of all error term. So let's uh, assume s is equal to sum of all error term. So we can write s equal to summation i running from 1 to n e i square and e i square the value of summation e i square equal to summation i running from 1 to n y i minus a plus b x i whole square we can write. So our main objective is to minimize the error term. So next line uh, we can write s equal to summation i running from 1 to n e i square and we know s equal to actually summation i running from 1 to n y i minus a plus b x i whole square and that is the value of summation i running from 1 to n e i square. Now our objective is to minimize this expression or minimize this sum where y i minus a plus b x i whole square. Uh, we know the y i is the dependent variable, x i is the independent variable and a and b are the two constant of the regression model. Now I apply the partial derivative to get the solution done and I have uh, taken the derivative or apply the derivative in respect of a. So we can write del s by del a equal to 2 summation i running from 1 to n yi minus a plus b x i into minus 1. It is a simple rules of derivative. Okay. It is a chain rule. Simply the power will comes down and we can write 2 into summation i running from 1 to n yi minus a plus b x i. And why it is minus 1? Minus 1 because we apply the derivative in respect of a. So minus a is there in the bracket. So the derivative will be minus 1. Now in the next line del s by del a equal to 0. You know it is the simple rules of derivative. If we apply uh, the derivative in respect of a s then it becomes 1. But we apply the derivative in respect of a. So del s by del a will become 0. Okay, It is the simple rules of derivative equal to summation i running from 1 to n yi minus a plus b x i. 2 minus 1 means 2 multiply with minus 1. So minus 2. So 0 by minus 2 will be 0. So we can write 0 equal to summation i running from 1 to n yi minus a plus b x i. In the next line we can write 0 equal to summation i running from 1 to n yi minus summation i running from 1 to n a plus b x i. So we just multiply summation i running from 1 to n in the portion of third bracket. Now in the next line we can write summation i running from 1 to n y i equal to summation i running from 1 to n a plus b x i. Okay, it's just size change. Okay. And in the next line we can write summation i running from 1 to n y i equal to 
n a plus b into summation i running from 1 to n x i where it is n actually summation i running from 1 to n means n terms of i so you can write n into a and a is a constant so it will remain same plus b summation i running from 1 to n x i so as b is a constant so b will keep aside and we can write summation i running from 1 to n x i so this is the first normal equation the general form of the first normal equation we have written in the box that is summation y equal to n a plus b into summation x so we have got the first normal equation now we will have to find out the second normal equation so in order to find out the second normal equation we will have to apply the derivative again in respect of b so we apply the derivative in respect of b so that is del s by del b so you can write equal to 2 summation i running from 1 to n into yi minus a plus b xi into minus xi again we apply the same rules of derivative it is a simple rules that power comes down so you can write 2 summation i running from 1 to n yi minus a plus b xi here uh, we are ap applying the derivative in respect of b so definitely b x i means obviously b x i means minus x i left out according to the chain rule of derivative so in the next step we can write 0 equal to summation i running from 1 to n y i minus a plus b x i into x i minus 2 go into the left side so 0 by minus 2 will be 0 so rest of the things will be remain same now in the next step we just multiply summation i running from 1 to n x i into the third bracket portion so what we have got summation i running from 1 to n x i into y i minus summation i running from 1 to n a plus b x i into x i so just multiply summation i running from 1 to n x i into the third bracket portion and we have got this uh, uh, expression now in the next line we have just a uh, side change and we have got summation i running from 1 to n x i y i equal to summation i running from 1 to n x i into a plus b x i we just side change and we have got this expression now in the next step in the right hand side portion we just multiply summation i running from 1 to n x i with a plus b x i means this first bracket terms so what we have got uh, in the next step that uh, summation i running from 1 to n x i y i equal to a into summation i running from 1 to n x i plus b into summation x i square as a and b is the constant so it should be keep in outside of the summation now i have got the second normal equation the general form of the second normal equation i have written in the box that is summation x y equal to a into summation x plus b into summation x square so we have got the two normal equation that is summation y equal to n into a plus b summation x that is the first normal equation and the second normal equation that i have written that summation x y equal to a into summation x plus b into summation x square now dividing both side of second equation that is my first normal equation by n we get summation y divided by n equal to a plus b into summation x by n so in the next line we can write summation y by n means y bar equal to a plus b into summation x by n means x bar now i substitute this with the equation one the equation 1 was y equal to a plus bx and now we got y minus y bar equal to b into x minus x bar now multiplying third equation that is the second normal equation by n we got n into summation xy equal to n into a into summation x plus n into b into summation x square and again multiplying the second equation that is the first normal equation by summation x we got summation x into summation y equal to n into a into summation x plus b into summation x whole square now subtracting both two equation we get n into summation x y minus summation x into summation y equal to b into n into summation x square minus summation x whole square 
Now in the next step we can write b equal to n into summation x y minus summation x into summation y divided by n into summation x square minus summation x whole square. And this is the regression coefficient of y on x. Now in the next step dividing both numerator and denominator by n square we get b equal to 1 by n summation x y minus summation x by n into summation y by n divided by summation x square by n minus summation x by n whole square. Now you see the numerator is a formula of covariant of x y and the denominator is the formula of sigma x square. Now in the next step dividing both the numerator and denominator by sigma y we get covariant of x y divided by sigma x square we can write sigma x into sigma x into sigma y divided by sigma y. And in the next step we got covariant of x y divided by sigma x into sigma y into sigma y by sigma x. So uh, here we see covariant of x y divided by sigma x into sigma y is actually the formula of correlation coefficient between x and y. So in the next line we can write r x y into sigma y divided by sigma x. So we can write uh, finally b equal to r x y into sigma y divided by sigma x. So that is the regression coefficient of y on x. So we can say regression coefficient of y on x is b y x equal to r x y into sigma y divided by sigma x. Similarly, we can derive the regression equation of x on y. Uh, that is x equal to a plus bx where the x is dependent variable, y is independent variable and we apply the least square methods and uh, also make the normal equation and finally uh, we get the regression coefficient of x on y that is bxy equal to rxy into sigma x divided by sigma y. So the similar uh, methods we will apply and definitely we will get regression equation of x on y. Clear? That's it.